your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. We're talking about the Holy Spirit in this series of lessons on your daily 180. Last week, we saw that there are three members that form what the Bible calls the Godhead. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All three members are active agents in creation. As a matter of fact, as we go through this lesson, we'll see that the role of the Holy Spirit has been the same. Now, his various activities and his mode of operation has changed in different times, but he's maintained a certain role as the Father has and also just as the Son has. Well, let's talk about the role of the Holy Spirit in creation. In Genesis chapter 1, we read these words, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. Now get this. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Now, I mentioned to you last week those opening words, in the beginning, God, that that word God in the Hebrew was actually plural. It comes from the Hebrew word Elohim, which is used over 2,500 times in the Hebrew scriptures. And it's plural. Well, we see here in verse 2, the Spirit of God, God the Spirit's hovering over the waters. Well, what is he doing? Well, Job chapter 26 and verse number 13 says, By his Spirit he adorned the heavens. And so the Holy Spirit is involved in a, in a finishing work, in an adorning work. In Psalm 104, verse number 30, we read, You send forth your Spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. And so again, we see the, the idea that the Holy Spirit is actually involved in the creation process, and the Holy Spirit is involved in a finishing, in an adorning aspect. In Job chapter 33, in verse number 4, there we see, the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. So all three members of the Godhead are actually involved in creation. Now, as we look at the scripture, it seems that God the Father was the director of creation. When we look at John chapter 1, it seems that God the Son executed the plan of creation. And as we read further, it seems that God the Spirit was the beautifier and the finisher of creation. And so this will become important as we look at further studies on this subject of the Holy Spirit. Please join us again.